Controversial influencer Andrew Tate released from house arrest in Romania, but is he free? Controversial internet influencer Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan have been released from house arrest in Romania ahead of their trial on charges of human trafficking and rape. Bucharest Court of Appeals announced on Friday. What does this mean for you guys? Andrew Tate is free. What does that mean for us, guys? I appreciate everybody for being here. Do me a favor. Make sure you guys are sharing the video. Let everybody know that we're on free top G and all of that. The Tate brothers and two Romanian female accomplices were released from house arrest and put under judicial control for a period of 60 days from August 4th to October 2nd. According to the court statement, the suspects were under house arrest pending a criminal investigation abuses committed against seven women accusations have been denied free top g hopefully he's innocent let's check it out going into jail cell the media reported and told the world i was a terrible person they said that i hurt people and i make a lot of money from criminal enterprise and here we stand seven or eight months later and i've not seen a single victim on the news i don't know if you have i've seen lots of girls sticking up for me lots of people defending me i've not seen a single person stand up and say that i have hurt them not one it's very exhausting to continue to perpetuate lies it's very hard to keep lies afloat when you have no actual evidence we've been completely innocent since the beginning of this and i have to give absolute faith to the romanian judicial system for finally making the right decision and letting us free i'm sure in the end we'll be absolutely exonerated and everybody who was pushing these lies and reporting things on repeat without any substantial evidence are going to have to analyze within themselves why they decide to try and destroy people's lives purely for views. I've done nothing wrong. God- mm. Free Top G. You heard what he said, though? Pushing and perpetuating lies for views. Now, again, hopefully the allegations are false. Hopefully, he will be vindicated, him and Tristan. But this is very important. Why is masculinity such a threat to society when we know masculinity is needed? Look at Kai Sanat. We need to restore order. Why are they suppressing masculinity? God knows I've done nothing wrong in my heart. I know I've done nothing wrong. I think the people at home who are the functioning brain understand we've done nothing wrong because nobody has yet to identify a single victim which is done, which is saying that we've done anything to them since the beginning of this entire process. Once again, absolute respect to the judge, respect to Romania, respect to the Romanian judicial system. I look forward to being completely exonerated in due time. Thank you. Free the top G, bro. Now, what does this mean for us? So many people, masculine men, we're looking for answers. We're looking for guidance. We've put people in power to influence us. In a few minutes, we're going to look at Kai Sinat and his influence. The riots that took place in New York. (laughs) Why are they trying to suppress masculinity, guys? Why? We all know why. Now, do you guys think with the riots... And everything that took place with Kai Sinat, women would be at the forefront protecting our borders, protecting and and, and restoring order. There's a reason why they're making us look bad. There's a reason why they are putting, they are trying to put the people who are promoting positivity, promoting masculinity, encouraging men to be men. There's a reason why they're suppressing those messages, bro. Now, Trist, now Andrew and Tristan think that they're free. As a matter of fact, um, Andrew Tate sent out a message to all of his followers. Watch this. Anyone who has actually read the entire file on my case knows the truth. I am innocent. My file isn't small. The prosecution specifically fills it with as many pages as possible to make it look as big as possible. They have no evidence of any crime, so they fill it with words instead. They fill it out with however many words they can get away with. Their strategy is size. Their strategy is that no one will ever read it. 
Now we know Andrew and Tristan's father is African American. And you know what they say. How do you hide shit from a nigger? You put it in a book. Andrew Tate just said their strategy is to put big words that are beyond your comprehension, <laughs> make it so big so it's going to discourage you from actually combing through it. Most of you niggas can't afford lawyers to look over your paperwork. Their strategy is that the media will parrot the lies so many times and for so long that no one will read it. They want a judge to look at its size, listen to the media, and make a decision within 24 hours. The time frame which guarantees the file is not read. Unfortunately for them, the judges of my case took seven days to decide whether I should be free or not. Seven days to read, seven days to read thousands of pages, seven days to realize there is no evidence of any crime. No evidence of any crime. Again, they are trying to cut the snake's head off. They're trying to dismantle masculinity. We're going to see the consequences when you remove masculinity, when you defund the authorities, when you take away the power of the people who are on the front lines. We're going to look at that. Anyone who will take seven days and understands what constitutes evidence in a legal proceedings will always come to the same conclusion. The conclusion is that I am completely innocent of any crime today by the grace of God. I have been freed from house arrest. First, my enemy said I will never leave prison. Second, my enemy said I will never leave house arrest. Now my enemies will say I will never be found innocent. God will disappoint them every time. God knows the truth. God knows my heart. And by the grace of God, we will win. Tate. By the grace of God, man, if you're innocent, sir, we're rooting for you because Lord knows most of us don't have the resources that you do. Most of us don't have the influence that you do. You are brave enough. You have the resources. You have been chosen. You've accepted your fate to spread a message that is necessary for masculinity, bro. And anybody who is promoting masculinity straying away from trends and fucking cults and clubs and shit like that anything that's allowing a man at spitting the truth to the man and letting them know that they have a choice they can either be a loser or a winner i stand for and i stand by bro guys stop compromising <laughs>